In today's video, I'm going to be going over 10 beast mode fragrances. I mean, beast mode like Herschel Walker on the last stretch. Now, these 10 might not be as beastly coming off your skin as they are mine. These are just ones that perform very well off my skin. I will also be doing a Chrome Extreme giveaway that I will explain in the about midway through this video. And on that note, let's get into it. So before I get into this list, I want to go and say thank you for clicking on my video. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here for a while, welcome back. But let's get into number 10. Now, number 10 is a 2020 release as well. It's one that uh, is said to be basically a rebottling, but to me, I don't own the original, so I can't really speak on it being any different or similar to previous formulations of this fragrance. But to me, it's, it's, it smells very nice and projects very well off my skin. I put it on and it reacts the same way as like Dior Sauvage does to me. It just projects well and reaches out for me. And with top notes of grapefruit, sea notes, and mandarin orange, mid notes of laurels and jasmine, base notes of guyac wood, moss, patchouli, and ambergris, you get Invictus Onyx. And y'all, like I said, this is the new release from this year. And it's supposed to be pretty similar to Invictus. Uh, I've not owned Invictus, but I own this. It is a bit fresher of a take from what I remember it smelling like. It's not quite as bubblegummy in the opening, I guess. That was just the first thing that came to mind when I was smelling Invictus in the stores, was that it was just super bubblegummy, super sweet. This is dialed back from what I remember. It's, it's just not quite as sweet in the punch as Invictus was when I first smelled it in the store. But since we're talking beast mode here, guys, this one performs so well on my skin. This is one of the first fragrances in a while that four sprays for me was plenty. If I went heavier than that, I would probably be like kind of choking people out there around me. It's very enjoyable and it lasts. This lasted me an entire shift at the hospital, which believe it or not, that's 12 hours. So it, it lasted me 12 hours on my skin. If I would have put it onto my clothing, it probably would have lasted even longer than that. Again, you guys, that was Paco Rabanne Invictus Onyx. And now some of y'all are not gonna like number nine. Some of you guys aren't gonna like this style of fragrance, but it does perform well. It is a very high concentration of oil fragrance. The brand that this comes from isn't necessarily revered as highly in the, in the fragrance community as you know some other ones, but it does perform well on my skin. Now it is a clone of a fragrance from like a while back, like years back. Uh, if you weren't aware, designer fragrances or designer houses like to rebottle their fragrances and kind of water down what they had previously. What I have here is supposed to be a clone of one of those you know older batches of fragrances. With top notes of cardamom and bergamot, heart notes of lavender and cedarwood, base notes of amber, coumarin, and vetiver. You get not a lot of weed alone, you get something that is called Midnight Rendezvous by Dua. Now this is a bit different than Lana Weed Alone. It's, it, there's a bit more of a spice that's there than there is in the original. But when I wear this, I get the same exact vibe as I do, except not quite as classy, as sexy, I guess, as the Lana Weed Alone is. But it's this performs so much better than Lana Weed Alone on my skin. This one actually projects very well for a while. This is a 12 hour fragrance, without a doubt. This was 100% 12 hour fragrance. It's one that if you don't want to reapply later on in the day, and you want to smell like uh, Lana Weed Alone, maybe a little spice, here. Look at this. Uh, again, you guys, that was Midnight Rendezvous by Dua. And what I have now is a fragrance that's relatively new to my collection, but when I've worn it, it's performed beastly on my skin. It has a different take on what I would assume would be like a fresher style fragrance because there's also some deeper notes in here, something like a bit sweeter, just a bit more depth to it than your general fresh fragrance. And with those additional notes comes the, I think, the depth from this fragrance. With top notes of bergamot and mandarin orange, mid notes of alcala wood, orange blossom, and watery notes, base notes of cedar, tonka bean, mate, and white musk. You get chrome pure by Azaro. Now guys, this is definitely a different take on a fresh fragrance. It's one that I'm gonna be wearing pretty heavily this summer when I wanna have a fresh fragrance that's just a little bit different. This is a bit more of a sweetness that, that's there. I'm gonna reach for it like this. Guys, and in terms of performance, the thing really, really surprised me. I did not expect for it to last, you know, eight hours on my skin or to perform and project for that level. And I'm really glad that I didn't reapply because a lot of the time with these stronger fragrances, our noses tend to go anosmic to them and we reapply it and then we're kind of smelling like multiple different fragrances. But with this one right here, I did not need to reapply. I am almost 90% sure that I went anosmic to it after an hour and then I put on my mask, went about my day, took my mask, and I smell it again. Really like pronounced. And at the end of it, you pretty much get your light bit of some some fruit in there, the mandarin bergamot, then you get your musk and you get your tonka bean. It's, it's what I get with this. And guys, again, that was Chrome Pure by Azaro. Now on that note, I do want to go ahead and get into the contest for the giveaway for the Chrome Extreme. And here you will see where's the chrome up top along with the extreme here with your standard chrome kind of thing they're going on there. And down here you'll see that it's 100 milliliters and that's 3.3 fluid ounces. With the Zaro uh, symbol up top, on the back here you'll just see the Zaro name and some ingredients down there with on the bottom the VAS code and 
just some general information. And here on the back, you'll see where it says, life is a celebration, step into the light and enjoy the moment. It's your time to shine. And here we have the actual bottle itself. So it's a real cool matte finish of a blue bottle here. Up here, you have your chrome, you have your extreme here, and then you have your Zara down here at the bottom with a very clean looking cap here, like a very clean metal cap. Same cap that's on the uh, chrome pure. On the bottom here, nothing going on there. I think it's just some general information down there. But this is a thin bottle, guys. It's one that is not the easiest one to grow, hold on to, but they did make it flat here on the side, so it's a little bit easier to grab. And this is my scent of the day, so I'll go ahead and put one onto my hand. And so Chrome Extreme has top notes of green mandarin, a mid note of juniper berries and sea notes, base notes of amber and cashmere. So what I get primarily with this is gonna be your mandarin, then I get your juniper berry, and I get your cashmere. But that's pretty much all it is. It's not too in-depth of a fragrance. Like I definitely prefer the pure over this fragrance, but the more that I wear it, the more that's kind of growing on me and the more that I'm starting to enjoy it. It's definitely an easy reach kind of fragrance. It's one that you can throw on like a lot of sprays and kind of just go about your day and you just kind of know you're gonna smell pretty fresh and nice. Now the base notes in this are what make it pretty interesting, along with the aquatic notes that are in here. It really gives it some character and just something that makes it just a little different. So yeah, the green mandarin is in the opening of this is very pleasant. The juiciness of that mandarin doesn't really last too, too long. And the fragrance does sort of develop pretty quickly into the wearing. It kind of dies down into almost a skin scent in about three hours or so. It doesn't really project too well for me. But while it is there, it does it is very, very pleasant. The mandarin and the juniper berries in the dry down from the opening to the mid really is nice. But guys, like I said, I have, you know, a whole bunch of fragrances that I'm never really gonna get around to wearing. And I bought this one to, to you know, in hopes that it would, you know, be a game changer in terms of fresh fragrances for me. I'm not so wowed by it. And I thought about, you know what, I'm gonna pass one along to somebody. Now the rules for that giveaway are gonna be the first person to bring in 10 people to my channel gets that fragrance. All you have to have them do is comment down below in the comment section that they were brought to this channel from you. And hopefully they subscribe because you know, that'd be nice. But yeah, like I said, the first person to 10 people down in the comment section gets that fragrance. And next what we have here is gonna be a fragrance that is a flanker of a very popular fragrance. It is one that I don't hear talked about much in, in the community because from my understanding, people have some uh, performance issues with this fragrance. Me, on the other hand, it performs very well for my skin. It projects well. It lasts almost better or equal to what it's a flanker of. This one as well is pretty new to my collection, but I feel like it's one that is really underutilized in terms of, of what it is. It's a fresher take on this line. And next we have with top notes of bergamot, blackcurrant, pineapple, mint, and green apple, hard notes of jasmine, rose, birch, patchouli, and base notes of musk, vanilla, oak moss, and ambergris. You get Creed Aventus Cologne. Now this is a 2019 release that, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a spray of this just so you guys understand. Creed Adamant do not play around. Yeah, the mint and the green apple in this are what make it it's a bit different, in my opinion, than just Creed Aventus. Everything else in terms of like the, the oak moss, the amber green, it's all kind of dialed back some to give it like a really nice fresh fragrance that performs equally, if not better than Creed Aventus. Off of my skin, maybe not off of yours, but off, off of my skin, it performs very well. But you get your opening of your pineapple, you get your opening of your, of your fruitiness that's there, and then it dries down into like a fresh fragrance, a fresh fragrance that, that has the DNA of Aventus, which is very appealing and very crowd, like, Appealing. It's nicer in my opinion in terms of being a crowd than actually Creed Aventus would be because Creed Aventus can kind of like kind of turn people away from it due to some of the notes. This though kind of fixes that issue and creates a really likable fragrance. And again guys that is Aventus Cologne. And next what we have here is a combination of a couple fragrances from my understanding. It is a great fragrance, it performs very well, it is a high concentration of oil as well. One thing that you'll notice is that typically speaking fragrances that have a higher concentration of oil tend to perform a little better than ones that have a lower concentration. With those of brandy, fruits, beeswax, oak moss, cedar, labrum, and white musk. You get a fragrance that is inspired by a song from 1972. It's a song by a band called Big Star. It was called The Ballad of El Gudo. And you get the actual fragrance called El Gudo. Y'all, this thing is so nice. Uh, it's not the most crowd appealing, but the brandy in this is just so nice. Like it's, I don't normally like super boozy, boozy fragrances, but this one is just different. It's just the sweet factor of the brandy is what pulls me in. And you guys, honestly, pretty much any single one of the Happy Land Studio fragrances could be in this spot. They all perform very well. They are all beast mode. There's n none of them are not that way. Like they're ones that you can wear for literally 12 hours a day and be set. You can put on, you know, three, four times and you're good for like a week. This one is just one of my favorites from that line. I'm just go ahead and show you guys this. I love it. And again, guys, that was El Gudo by Happy Land Studios. And next what we have here is a fragrance that I wish I had a full bottle of because guys, this one is a, a winter powerhouse banger, one that's gonna really perform well, I feel like for everybody. I've yet to hear anyone say that there's been any kind of performance issues with this fragrance or anything that makes it so that it doesn't last a long time. I do wish I had a full bottle of it. I do just have a partial, but it's been plenty enough for me to get a, a really good idea of how this fragrance is. With top notes of mandarin, apple, and lavender, hard notes of violet, jasmine, and geranium, 
based on some guyac wood, patchouli, sandalwood, cardamom, vanilla, and pepper. You get something that is just so nice. It's one of the fragrances that has the best sillage in anything that I wear in my entire collection. Is I'm so glad that I have it. It goes to Layton by Far Farms de Marley. Like I said, guys, this is one of the best like winter scents that I have in my collection. I'm just it's very good. Oh, definitely. Oh my god. This smells really good. Shit. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it, you get the intoxicating scent that, that is Parfums de Marley Layton with a monster projection. I'm going to have to shower up knowing this. I'm putting on, on like too many of these like beast smoke fragrances. I'm going to go to bed and it's going to cause my entire bed to reek of different fragrances. Which they all smell pretty good, so I'm not going to be too mad about it, but yeah, I got to wash stuff off. And again, guys, that was Parfums de Marley Layton. And number four on this list goes to a fragrance that is one of the best, if not the best, summer fragrance that you can pick up in terms of it being niche fragrance, in my opinion, from what I have tried. It is a beautiful bottle. It is a beautiful presentation. It's a beautiful scent. This is just a masterpiece of a fragrance. It has the best citrus mint combo of a fragrance that I think I've ever smelled. With top notes of bergamot, mandarin, lime, and pedigree, hard notes of rose, lily in the valley, mint, and base notes of cedar, patchouli, amber, and musk, you get one of the absolute best summer fragrances that are in my collection. Not only that, you get one of the best that are in terms of projection. It is by definition a beast mode freshie. You get Surge Off Renaissance. Now this thing, guys, I'm telling you right now, it's just you put one of these in through the air and you get. This the uplifting citrus this makes me think of being on a bike ride in the middle of summer like fresh out of the beach you know sunburnt glass are on a little buzzed you could this scent the mint is the refreshing aspect like like you're rolling around with a fresh cold Gatorade after like a hot, like a hot warm day it's so pleasant guys it's so nice I would highly suggest getting a decant of this and trying it out chances are you probably fall in love with it and again guys that is Zerjoff Renaissance and number three on this list guys goes to one that is gonna be probably on like everyone's list probably year round because it is that strong it is that enjoyable in my opinion maybe not some others people that are a bit uh, you know in different style fragrances but for me personally I don't think there's a lot of people that will argue with this one how beast mode this one is some that don't even like it say that it's you know so loud it's obnoxious they just don't like the style of fragrance that it is but for me off my skin this is one of the most complimentary fragrances that I have in my collection shout out to Timmy at Imagine Scent for put, kind of putting me on this one a couple years ago when I was googling or youtubing fragrances to buy this is one of the first ones that popped up was one of his videos. The next one we have here is a cluster of fruits, you know, bergamot, ambroxan, vanilla. It's just a bunch of stuff going on with this, but in the chaos creates something that is as wonderful as it is. It goes to Dior Sauvage EDP. Now this thing, guys, is one of Dior's, probably their best selling. It's uh, gonna be, in my opinion, from what I've tried, which is only this and ADT, I say this is the best one that I've tried. And in terms of being a performance beast, beast mode, guys, this is a no-brainer. And again, guys, that was Dior Sauvage EDP. And number two on this list is one of the most beautifully crafted fragrances that I have in my collection. It forms so well. Now this fragrance at anything over four sprays, I would say is, is, is too much. But at three to four sprays, it makes for a perfect signature scent. Not only that, it is so loud. And at three to four sprays, it's so beast mode. It's such a solid scent bubble that is so nice and masculine it creates that confidence it just it has that lavender bomb to it this is so pleasant but now this thing has like 20 different notes into it uh, that make it a very unique fragrance and next we have a fragrance with top notes of french cardamom lavender black pepper juicy pear and cypress hard notes of ginger blonde cedar temple oud iris pimento leaves and fir balsam the bottom notes of creamy sandalwood gold patchouli black amber myrrh and fragrance sets. you get the wonderful creation that is the harvest signature portal this is a beautiful scent guys this is one that like i've said it, it creates a certain amount of confidence this creates this puts the hair on your chest that you need to to go get shit done if i had to have one signature scent out of my entire collection this would be one of them this is one that i, I put on most times before these videos tonight i put on the chrome extreme because i kind of want to give you guys a general idea of, of my thoughts on it you guys this thing is just even I mean, from bottle design down to the scent itself is a wonderful fragrance on top of that it's one of the best performing fragrances in my entire collection and again guys that is zaharf signature portal and number one made its way to the top of this list pretty quick this is the most powerful fragrance in my collection without a shadow of doubt forms well it lasts it projects it, it lasts on my skin and my clothing for like days if i wear this one at night and i don't shower before i go to bed it's gonna be my skin in the morning it's still projecting like really well and it is not creed aventus it's not creed aventus close similar but not the number one beast mode fragrance goes to a fragrance that has bergamot pineapple grapefruit hard notes of jasmine patchouli and cedarwood base notes of clear wood oak moss and dry timber wood for me you get the grapefruit and pineapple you get the uh, oak moss primarily that's pretty much the three that I go with this with some of the other woodsy notes you get such a beast mode of a fragrance guys this, this one lasts 12 hours it's unbelievable the amount of time this lasts if, if you don't want to smell like this for like half a day choose something else to wear but it is very pleasant and just know that you will smell like this for the entire day there's there's no way around it this is a beast mode powerhouse fragrance you get 
Hashabat by Nishane. Such a beautiful scent, beautiful bottle, beautiful presentation, wonderful scent. One of the blind buys that I'm very, very happy with. And I was looking for a fragrance that could outshine Aventus in terms of, of performance, and this is it. This is the fragrance that out outperforms Aventus in terms of it being that style of fragrance. They did it, they made it happen. And again, guys, that is Hashabat by Nishane. Shout out Jeremy Fragrance in case you're watching this. I saw you put this on to your, uh, on your Instagram. You know it's good, man. But y'all, that is that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been somewhat informative. Like I said, for you to enter in that giveaway, you're gonna need to bring in 10 new people and have them comment down below. And the first one to get to 10 new people here gets the Chrome Extreme for free. And guys, like I always say, well, first of all, I say good luck. Y'all, keep it gent and love your scent, and I will see you all next time.